graphics aren't everything, but sometimes those classic old games just need a new coat of paint. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, master. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most wanted video game HD remakes. We are the future. For this list, we picked games with passionate fan bases or massive critical acclaim that deserve an HD remaster or full remake, but have not yet been officially announced. We gained a command post. Majora's Mask recently got a remake announcement, so that game made us redo this list. Thanks, Nintendo. Number 10, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. How well can you hold on to your sanity in game and in real life? Well, this game tests you on both fronts, as its key draw was its sanity meter that at times broke the fourth wall and made you think that your system was acting up at tense or important moments. <laughs> These days, with Let's Play channels testing themselves with horror games have become all the rage. So this game with an HD facelift seems like a no-brainer. Of course, some effects will need to be updated to mimic today's technology, but that's also what makes it an ideal choice. Number 9. Planescape Torment from Icewind Dale to the Baldur's Gate series, several classic isometric PC RPGs have been getting HD facelifts in the last couple of years. This begs the question, where's Planescape Torment? The game took the classic Dungeons & Dragons formula and combined it with the most intriguing storytelling and dialogue in the history of video games. We want to get back into the shoes of the immortal protagonist, the Nameless One, for one more romp through the Planescape. Number 8. Battletoads You know what's becoming the latest trend these days? Punishingly difficult games. So it seems strange that one of the most notoriously tough games in history hasn't seen a release in almost 20 years. Originally made by Rare, who now needs something else to do now that Microsoft is cutting back on Kinect support, this seems like it would be a great investment, especially seeing as 2D beat-em-ups rarely get any love these days. So, for the sake of the sanity of GameStop employees everywhere who have to deal with prank calls asking for this game, perhaps it's time to finally meet that demand. Number 7. F-Zero GX Champion! I'd like to interview you! The F-Zero series is composed of insanely fast and punishingly futuristic racing games with twisting, gravity-defying racetracks. In fact, the series was one of the first console games to run at 60 FPS. Featuring mind-bending courses, a devastating metal soundtrack, and some of the coolest character and ship designs in Nintendo's repertoire, it was definitely unique. Few games replicate the sheer sense of speed and power like F-Zero GX, the best in the series, and we're eager to devise some G-forces in fully rendered HD, and while we're at it, maybe play online as well. Number 6. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Am I not far too useful to be thrown aside in such a casual manner? Before Bioware created their own epic space opera with the popular Mass Effect series, they delved into more classic source material with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The protagonist, a young Jedi, assembles a team of fellow space travelers to hunt down and thwart the diabolical efforts of the dastardly Darth Malak. Considering how similar Knights of the Old Republic is in terms of gameplay to Mass Effect, we'd love to see Bioware add that beautiful level of polish to their classic Star Wars adventure. Number 5. Deus Ex Deus Ex was one of the first games to properly implement a branching storyline with dialogue choices that really made a difference. A smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Speaking of choice, do you want to shoot up the place with heavy guns? Or maybe you'd prefer to meticulously hack your way through a complex computer system and then approach with a tranquilizer gun. Because either way works perfectly. <laughs> These choices might seem commonplace now, but when Deus Ex came out, they were nothing short of groundbreaking. Its gameplay and story still hold up very well, but the character models and animations have seen better days. So whatever you do, if you reboot this, do not nerf the PC version for sake of the consoles. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. Number 4. Resident Evil 2 
The remake of the first Resident Evil for the GameCube recently got a re-release on current consoles, but Capcom never remade its sequel. Just go! And that's a shame, because Resident Evil 2 took all of the best elements from its predecessor, namely the bone-chilling atmosphere and the sense of helplessness. The entire city was infested with zombies. Resident Evil fans have wanted the series to move away from the action-oriented gameplay and back to what made the series beloved. And these days, it seems like the best way to accomplish that would be an HD remake of this horror gem, rather than teasing fans with something like the Dark Side Chronicles. Get down! <laughs> Number three, Shen Mue. Ono-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. There's probably no Dreamcast exclusive more beloved and critically acclaimed than Shen Mue. Yet, because it was on the Dreamcast, nobody ever got to play it. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. The game mixes martial arts intrigue with gameplay elements that were sometimes innovative, sometimes downright weird. Ah, uh, milk. Maybe the kitten would drink it? Shenmue's world was alive with fully fleshed out NPCs and a full day-night cycle with different weather. Shenmue is a charming game that needs to be remade, although that still wouldn't solve the cliffhanger at the end of the second one. Number two, Metroid Prime Trilogy. It almost took 10 years for Nintendo to follow up on Super Metroid, one of the most critically acclaimed games ever. And Retro Studios delivered one of the best transitions from 2D to 3D, putting us directly in Samus Aran's shoes. Shifting into an FPS perspective gave players an unprecedented amount of immersion and control over our favorite bounty hunter. We'd consider that these might be better as remasters rather than remakes, but they almost seem like a guaranteed success, especially given how the Wii Trilogy Pack is such a rare collection of discs to find these days. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Number 1, Final Fantasy VII. At E3 2005, Sony and Square Enix recreated the intro cinematics from Final Fantasy VII. The video was meant to be a tech demo to showcase the PS3's graphics. But unsurprisingly, it got RPG and Final Fantasy fans salivating for the real thing. Square Enix has refused to commit to a remake, instead producing remade versions of Final Fantasy 3 and 4 in 3D. Yet, they teased fans again with Crisis Core's secret ending. My name is Cloud. Soldier. First class. Come on, Square. We all want to be chasing Sephiroth around the world with Cloud, Tifa, and Eris in glorious next-gen HD. Make it happen. Do you agree with our list? Is there a game out there you desperately want to see remade? Our numbers are being depleted. For more exciting top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.net.